Yesterday I started training a new designer that is going to be working with me. And today we already started working on our first project together, which was a big restaurant CMS website. So I had to teach her how to use Webflow because she never used it before. Now the thing about Webflow is that it's not a simple kind of a drag and drop website builder. It's actually, it's actually not even a design tool. It's kind of a development tool, only that instead of writing code, you kind of develop visually with great interface. But the thing is that in order to build a website correctly, especially a CMS website, you kind of have to understand the structure of how HTML and CSS websites are built. So I used kind of a few slides from our workshop that we gave three years ago teaching people how to work with Webflow to kind of get her into the mental model of building web pages. And I want to share those slides with you. Now, for those of you who understand HTML and CSS and know about it, this is probably going to look obvious. So, obviously, this is beginner stuff, but bear with me. I just want to kind of show you. I'm not going to go in depth. I just want to show you the kind of the metaphor that I used to teach her. So, I started off by saying that please imagine that every web page is just a bunch of boxes within boxes within boxes. And this is actually what HTML is. It's defining those boxes and what's in those boxes. And actually there are many types of boxes and each of them has a name and certain properties that actually defines how they look like. So some boxes are the text, for example, the headlines or other types of elements. Some of them might be the buttons or defining how galleries work or logos look like. But basically, this is the main premise of HTML and CSS. It's boxes within boxes within boxes. Each of them has a name and looks differently. So if you want to imagine HTML is kind of the structure of a web page and CSS is what makes the web page beautiful. And since it's boxes, there is kind of what's called the box model and what you actually define within those boxes and the properties as how big the box is, uh, how much inner padding or outer margin it has, what kind of borders it has, and those are kind of the elements that you use to style these elements on a web page. And if we hop onto Webflow for just a second, you can see how easily that determines into how we're using. So we're dropping in a basic box and a basic box is called a div. And we give that box a name. Let's call it blue box. And here on the side, you can see the exact box model, which means how big the box is. Let's say it's 500 by 500. So you can see we have uh, given it a specific size and we can give it a uh, blue color, for example. Now, if we want to go and throw in another box inside of it, let's call it yellow box. Yellow box. Um, and we give that a yellow color, but we haven't given it a size. So let's say we want it to be 100% hundred percent of the size but it will have some spacing from um, from the box or let's say that the blue box will have some space inside so it's going to push the inner box inside and even if we drop elements such as text those are also boxes inside the box so if I say that the yellow box has also inner padding it's going to push in the text box and this text box, if we give it a name, big text, we can give that properties such as what is the size of the text, what is the font, and so forth. And this is basically, basically on a very basic level, how you design every web page. But to actually code what we have just done now in 30 seconds would probably take you a few minutes or more. So just doing that with this simple UI actually makes your work like 10 times faster. Obviously, I'm not trying to give a comprehensive Webflow tutorial right here. I don't really see the point in that because they have awesome video tutorials on their website. But I just kind of wanted to give you the mental model that you're working in with when you're working within Webflow. And this is crazy because the designer I'm working with, she is now finishing our graphic design course and they're teaching her how to work with WordPress. And she was just amazed she said oh my god why would i have to work with wordpress and that would take me hours when i can do that really really quickly in webflow so she was just 
amazed and she was like how, how does not everybody know about this and work with it and i i really think that this is we are in a special time in history because i do believe that webflow are going to kind of win and they're going to become kind of a household name like adobe or sketch and everybody's going to use that but right now they're still not in that point so the people who do know how to use webflow they kind of have in my opinion kind of special superpower because they can do things 10 times faster than other people who do not work with it and so they have kind of a major advantage and the thing is that the company that we're working with i kind of basically do design the the website and they were asking they were asking for a quote for from a web, um, wordpress developer how much would it cost to develop the website that i did on wordpress because they wanted to go with the wordpress platform and he told them um it's going to cost around two thousand dollars and then they asked me say what what if you try and use the webflow cms how, how long would that take you to implement and i told them i don't know i think two hours and they were like what two hours so why would we pay him two thousand dollars go and do that with the webflow cms so we worked on that today together and they were so so happy with the webflow cms that now they want to kind of like do 10 more cms websites bottom line here is that guys if you are not working with webflow yet you should definitely definitely get started with it i'm so passionate and hooked about it that i'm like <laughs> trying to teach it to everybody that i know uh, if you are new to webflow check the link in the description because there is a special discount code for the viewers of flux if you already are a webflow user power on to you sorry if the discount doesn't work i know that sucks uh, i'm trying to get something better for for you know existing users as well but i haven't been successful so far but anyway i think that definitely everybody should be using this because it would just make you 10 times more productive anyway i hope that was kind of helpful in a way i'm going out for the weekend right now hope you guys have a great weekend i'll catch you next week